So I have our beautiful girl, Victoria. She's having breathing issues, you guys. So I have the nebulizer going and she's getting a nebulizer treatment. So this is what she has to have daily now. And she's having a hard time. And um, I have saline in there. And so I just kind of drilled a hole taped it up and stuck it in there and so this is our new life um, she was sneezing a lot last night having a rough time and uh, so this is what we got to do so I get up every night I see her at midnight check up on her and give her a treatment at midnight if she needs it and then I go to bed and then I wake up between 2.30 and 3 and then I give her another treatment and then I get up at 6.30 and I give her another treatment and then when I get home from work I give her another treatment and if I don't she has a hard time breathing and she's sneezing so she's gonna go back to see Dr. G and then she has her implant another procedure um, for the implant on April 2nd and that's where she's gonna um, take x-rays of her lungs, do it herself. We had them somewhere else, so they weren't that great. And see if she can see more so what's going on, and then also see what was going on with her neck. Um, what that other doctor said he thought was cancer, which Dr. G doesn't think it's cancer. I'm just gonna open this for a sec, get some oxygen in there. I don't have a bunch of, I don't have any holes because she's not in there long enough but, um, and then if you have holes, it, the nebulizer, all the stuff comes out so it doesn't fill up with the cloud. But once in a while, I just kind of do that to make sure there's enough oxygen in there. Um, which there is. I'm just a little paranoid. And she's ready to come out. She's just like, I think she's done. So, eh. But hopefully, you know, um, doing these treatments is supposed to really help and soften those nares, those little nostrils. Hopefully they'll enlarge because they're so tight it's hard for her to breathe. And so that's what we believe is going on right there. So more of these treatments, it'll just soften things up and the um, solution will get into her air sacs and help moisturize them and hopefully eventually we'll see a huge improvement. So you know, baby steps. It's about keeping our Victoria Cockatoo happy, healthy, and this is just what we have to do right now. This is just what it looks like, and um, we're really thankful for Dr. G, so. Right, Victoria? It's going to be okay. I'm right here with you, baby. Your mama loves you. Everybody loves you. Dr. G loves you. Birgit loves you. The bird community, everybody loves Victoria Cockatoo. <laughs> Bye, guys.